to uh, very capable reserves, but a number of key players missing from the side through injury and with Colvin Scott suspended. Five matches are left in the summer against the Netherlands last year. And uh, Paul coming into field as well. What a great reception for tremendous following uh, in the the top end. Home certainly not short of support here in this semi-final tie. And conditions on the foot here looking perfect. It's a very cold, raw day here in Wigan, but there's no wind. And both sides very keen to make this final. Let's have a look at the two sides. The whole side first. Richard Gaze all back. Three quarters very much as we would expect. Scott Gale and Ivan Hanjak, the half backs. Ivan Hanjak has gone through his injury problem, but he's playing, I think, with a slight neck. And the forward Steve Durham gets his first appearance of the season with Lee Jackson at nine and Russ Walker who's also uh, come through his toughest test at ten. Chico Jackson and John Sharp in the second row with Dean Busby at Lewis Cole. The substitutes Nicky Rushton, his first appearance for the first team is Red Lewis. The Wigan side, an unfamiliar look to a number of these men, but very promising looks have been brought in. Steve Hampson's fullback. Jason Robinson, this exciting winger at number two, and Sam Conifer moving in from the wing to centre at three, and Andrew Farrell at four. Aitchison, the former witness player, is at five. The half backs are Sean Edwards and Frano Botica, and in the forwards, where there have been most changes, Neil Cowley is at eight, Martin Compton at nine, Ian Gildart at ten, with Barry John Mather at eleven, Billy McGinty at twelve, and Phil Clark at loose forward. Terry Cassidy and Andrew Farrell, the two substitutes. The referee for this televised clash here on the Saturday afternoon is Mr. Robin Whitfield of Witness. And we're about to get underway. Good crowd assembled. Given that this game is going out live on British BBC region of seven or eight thousand props here. Hansen gets us on the way, taken by Hanjak. Matt Johnson goes into the action and gets back towards the 20 meter line. Lee Jack's knocking half back, Russ Walker runs it up. It's a good solid tackle by Mother McGinty. Lee Jackson from acting half. Then McGinty and Build out this time the tackles. And Jack drops off Grant. <laughs> very well met up the middle by McGinty. Wigan tackling very well close to Rudd. Lee Jackson. Gale. Gale picks through. Looking for touch and he makes a good touch. Just outside the Wigan 20 meter line. And a good kick from Scott Gale down here. Yeah, good kick. We've come to expect this season. Kicked very well for Hull. He's <coughs> joined the club from uh, Balmain. It seems to me that Hull have got the advantage of a slight breeze in the first half. So they'll be looking to put some pipe points on the board. What a good speed. Go bad pass to Edwards. Traps it. Hard it. Gale Welling with a the tackle there. Hates us and this young runner running off the left to half back. Lots of pace. Penalty. I think it's for oh high tackle. Says Robin Whitfield. I think it was against John Sharp. Hampson for touch. And he'll coward to set this one up. Met by Hall. Good tackling by Hall. Driven back. Brought down. Croxon. The run from Croxon, good 20 yards made. Chip from Edwards. Should be Eastwood's ball. Gets driven into touch. Who had no point for them. Was it? First behind the whole defence line, but Eastwood got to the ball first, but was knocked into touch by Edwards, so it's Wigan's head and ball. 
Good attacking position this for Wigan. Actually, Hooker and Scrum down is, is in front of us now, receiving treatment for a leg injury. Nonetheless, we don't need him. Bottica gets it. Whitbury is not satisfied. Bottica. Clara. Hanson. Good tackle there by Richard Gate. Edwards. A oh, good ball there from Mother, who loses it. Picks up by Lee Jackson, he's hammered down by Phil Clark. Durham. Best appearance of the season for Steve Durham, who'll be keen to show some form. John Schraff. Rob Nolan into the gap, Rob Nolan goes. Good tackle by Hanson. Jackson, all going blind. Busby, Gummies. Tackle by McGinty. Scott Gale. Kicks again. Goes ball, goes behind. Aitchison. He feels it. Oh, it beats Eastwood. Tremendous prospect this week out. Oh, it beats Gale. That's Gale down outside him, but he didn't give the ball. Free kick. And I think... Yeah, 10 minutes. Against Arden Hendra. I think we said two minutes ago, quick between the rods, and Shank has showed his pace then. There's some Paul Eastwood there. Uh, we've got missing that tackle, Aitchison, carrying on the move for a further 50 yards. Finally, a good tackle by Ivan Hendra covering, but uh, in trying to delay things, Ivan Hendra finds 10 minutes in the sim bin. We're going to further a hit by injury, up comes Crompton. Along comes Terry Cassidy, a youngster that we saw in the league game here, what he did, I think, I might be saying, okay, back in September. So it looks as if Crompton's done something to uh, an ankle, holding his right ankle. And a chance for Frano Botica to, from Wigan's account. This penalty is some 27 metres away. And he's on the 10 metre line. And a man of uh, Botica's capability, deadly accuracy in his goal kicking, usually. Should be able to put this one over. <laughs> oh, he's missed it, you can tell from the cheers of the whole supporters must behind the whole goal line but that missed so the score remains nil all and uh, really a lot of difficult penalty by many goal for this uh, capabilities one would expect to be yeah so really let's have the whole state match running out good tackle by Nolan Jason Robinson got to stop there and somebody else up there a real pace on, and penetration on the wings of Wigan with these two young lads Cassidy. McGinty. Penalty that time against Scott Gale. They hold him down, not letting uh, the man get up and throw the ball. Referee Whitfield is talking to Russell Walker. Walker's in the game, I heard the Scott Gale actually. This time, Botica's going to put the ball into touch. There he goes. And the goodest attacking position for Wigan. Powers. Cassidy, Cassidy. Oh, good tackle by Gay. Gets the ball out to Gilbert. Oh, he's run off for Wigan. Phil Clark, Phil Clark, Phil Clark scores. Well, he said he didn't. Held up, didn't get the ball down properly. Oh, well, didn't kill that initial half threat by Cowley and Wigan moved the ball well to their right. Clark over the line, didn't ground the ball. But still, 
Botica, Wigan's heading ball. Tremendous pressure this on the whole defence. Oh, Botica won't collect it. Oh, good tackle by Scott Gale. Penalty. No penalty against Scott. I'm sure Botica will go for goal on this one, he does. Try to delay the ball, you'll be off for 10 minutes. Okay. I think at the end of this press with Steve, if Hull come away with uh, just two points down and having an jack on the field, will be glad. Yes, maybe that was partly what was going to uh, Scott Gale's mind. Tommy player, a lot of experience. And certainly with Wiggins head involved from that scum five metres out. Six tackles to, to take, really. Odds are all on, on the whole man down, and odds are on Wigan scoring. The Botico will surely kick this one. He does, no problems at all. Wigan leads the two to nil, and we're going to find seven minutes. to tighten up this first time tackling Brian because uh, players like Karen McGinty so far have been able to play with a bunch of time very easily. Yeah, that too. And that famous miss was created by Cowie driving the ball in after a, a tap penalty and breaking Hull's first line of tacklers. Robbie Whitfield talking to Scott Gale again. And that's match police with Tina Ball up to kick off. It's going to be McGinty. Met on the 20 metre line. Robinson. Tackle by Gale and Busby. Sean Edwards. Straightens up down the middle. Tackle by Steve Durham. Phil Clark. Nowhere to go. Four tackles. Cassidy to McGinty, oh, to Panapa. Last tackle. Sean Edwards will kick. He does it, goes behind Paul Eastwood. Eastwood feels it. So that makes a 20 metre line. Yeah. Richard Gate. Oh, to John Sharp, the ball misses him. Picked up by Durham. Driven back by three big and tackles. Chico Jackson, oh, good run by Jackson, and gets rid of it, Scott Gill, tackled by Gildar and Edwards, Sharp, good roll there, by the whole forwards, ball back to Scott Gill, puts this turn, oh, it bounces up well for Botica, to Hampson. Tackle by Duncan. Another. Uh, Para, Australian centre, makes a few yards. Goes what it like a forward pass there. But instead, Whitfield gets the whole tackle for being inside the 10. So it's another penalty for Wigan. Cowley. <laughs> oh, bumps off this way. Pulling the ball out in the tackle. And Whitfield is calling for timeout. He's calling over Chris Walker. He holds captain. Pressure is Steve, these penalties. Yes, uh, <coughs> well, certainly conceding the penalties in the early stages of the game. Here's Gildar, almost up to the 20 meter line, Hull under pressure again. Botticus first receiver, misses out McGinty, Cowie, oh, 
for the mother. Mother going for the line, which is game for two if the mother should make it. And he goes. Great up by Richard Gay, but a really well constructed move by Wigan. With Buttiger involved twice. And this tall second rower playing wide out blind, splitting the defence and having the pace to make it for the corner. Yeah, well, Put Maddie into the gap, and then had the pace when he took the ball on the run. Very tall, this lad must be six foot four, six foot five. Once he got the ball, went for a corner. Richard Gade never looked as though he could get across to him, Steve. Lots of pace. But if Hulk keeps conceding penalties like this, and we can keep attacking, we're going to we're gonna score. Hull have just got to calm down. Because when they've had the ball and they've took it up, they've looked quite good, they look quite effective. But they're giving far too many penalties away at the moment. So Botica. Trying to have the conversion, and Jack comes back on. Wigan 6, Holt 0. Ivan and Jack not yet uh, served his 10 minutes. Very keen to get back on there. But Hull so far with very little possession in the game and uh, when they've kicked Wigan back into their own 20 metre area they've either missed a tackle or given away a penalty. Eastwood goes for a long kick. Taken by Hansen. He picks up McGinty, hands it to him. McGinty is tackled by Duncan. Assisted by Nolan. Robinson goes from acting half. Dangerous <laughs> runner this fellow. This time he makes 30 yards across the field and non forward. Cowie. Cassidy acting half back doing that roll now with the uh, Compton off. And Clark, the man in possession. Cassidy runs himself for Mackin half back. It's a good tackle by Dean Busby. Last tackle against Wigan. Edwards under a bit of pressure. That's the kick away. Tom Woodward knocks the ball back. And he's taken by Hannaford and Jessica. Gay from Mackin half back. A good tackle by Tanaka, he read that, uh, by Botica rather, he read that well. Chico Jackson. Went well, Chico Jackson. Gets into the gap, the deal of Jackson can't hold on. Well, Chico Jackson uh, did well with an angled run, back up towards the rough, Brian, but uh, really those sort of passes could have been taken. Yeah, there's a little bit of a sharp pass there from Lee Jackson. There's always going to have difficulty taking it. But yet it showed the Wigan line could be perhaps Steve. Well, this should be Hull's head. Hull's goal is. It's Rob Nolan. Second half, Hull Clark. One against the head. Busby. Tackle by Mather and Cowell. Henger. John Sharp. Well, on the wing, Hull he did. He's had one ball. He's done 40, 50 yards. Not a pass, did no. Gay. Oh, Gay, Gay. That's a set of by Cassidy. Duncan. To Scott Gale. Oh, to Durham who loses it. Sharp ball there for Steve Durham. Came in on the angle run, but he knocks the ball on. So Sam Panacle took a knock. Sam is second Richard Gay, but anyway, it's Botica's speed. Well, that really holding the ball long enough. I mean, it's a pity, really. We get back to playing simple six tackle rugby. I think that would cause Wigan some bother because they are breaking the line. Sparrow tackle. Sean Edwards, Lobby to Boston. That's Cowie in the end. Stopped there by Chico Jackson, Steve Durham. McGinty. 
Tackle by Lee Jackson. So far. Good tackle by Jackson. And John Sharp. Oh, to Farra. Maybe. That wall this boy really can run. Well, he gets the ball out to Aitchison. Oh, what a brilliant covering tackle by Dean Busby. Brilliant tackle. Last tackle. Edwards. Oh, the hard look back for home. The ball came up to him. Grant. So it's going to be Wiggins heading ball and the chance of another six tackles. And more problems caused by this uh, young second row is playing very wide out, almost as next to centre, Barry John Mother. Player with strength and certainly evident so far, a lot of pace. Robin Whitfield last for that scrum to go again. We're going to have it, Botticker, Edwards, Farrow brought into the action. Tackled well. By Grant, Richard Gay. McGin uh, this is Gildart, McGinty, good tackle on the 20 metre line by Busby. Gildart, well taken again by Busby from the marker position. Edwards, this is out Cowie and Clark, picks up Botica, but that's very well read by Scott Gale, makes a very good tackle. Panapa, Edwards, Panapa, Clark. And he's taken on the 20, just inside the old 20 metre line. Last tackle against Wigan. Edwards. Long ball onto the wing to Aitchison. Back to Edwards. Bit of space for Edwards. Kicks through. That should go dead, I think. But alert, inventive Wigan attack has thrown Edwards at the hub of most things. Yeah, and right in the ground south side, he's standing over the room. So McGinty's receiving straight down the road. He's supposed to hold the ball. He's just a little bit too strong for Andrew Farrow was following it. Lee Jackson. Chico Jackson. Well, big run by Jackson. Durham. Well, driven back there by Phil Clark. John Sharp. No, not John Sharp. Lee Jackson done with me as well. Into Nolan. Ball tackle. Busby, takes it up, side steps, makes a few yards, last tackle. So Enjak, Enjak runs, Enjak runs, finds Walker, he's made a Walker, last tackle, and releases it. Enjak, throws one down, oh, Lee Jackson, bad pass there by Busby. Bit of a tired pass, Chico Jackson, puts it up. It's not a bad kick. Enjack tackles, I think it's Sean Edwards under that ball. Took it well, Edwards. Jason Robbins. Andrew Farrett. Pass again. Oh! No one picks it up. Bad pass that by Wigan. Scott Gill. John Sharp. Chapter there. Lee Jackson, that's an half, that's Robin Scott, it's more! Just stuck there by Cowie. Walker. Richard Gay. Duncan. No room on the side, he's back there by Jason Robinson. Nolan, side steps. Nice side step, Duncan. Yes! Oh, what a good try by Duncan. No room at all then. His left hand side. Into church or into the corner flag, but he got the ball down, Steve. Well, a great try from Matt Duncan early because there seemed to be no room, but no one was in Brock Pine down on the short side. And having moved the ball out to this left early on in the previous play, the Wigan had defended very well. But instead of moving it out to the other side, he played the ground, and somehow Matt Duncan squeezed in at the corner. And that's a really important try for him. He did very well at that dunk because uh, he's given a very little room and he beat his man. Yeah, he's given a 7-0. 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 He's given a 
had a difficult kick this before he stood. But if it's his day, the kick it. See both those substitutes are warming up. I don't think all their legs can have a substitute at the moment. Just keep it warm, it's a cold road day here. Across the face of the post. Okay, Wigan 6 hold 4. And we've been playing 22 minutes of this first half. McGinn's having a quite extensive treatment with Andy Seems to have but he's got stood up slightly, Steve. It'd be a real blow for Wigan if McGinn has to be substituted. They just showed what hope they've done when they played the ball for six tackles. I think they've just got to settle down here. I think they can take Wigan here today, but they've got to be steady and not give penalties away. James Grant to Buckley. Buzzman. Ooh. Stopped by Phil Clark. I thought a bit high. Chico Jackson. I'm very impressed with the way Jackson's running, Steve. He's really making yards for Hull. Walker. John Sharp. He was a great set by John Sharp. Really has a bad game. Scott Gill. And kick it deep, he does. Oh, out on the ball. So it's going to be Wigan. Head and ball. Not often that Scott Gill misses his kick. No real pressure there. Just came off the top of his boot, I think. Okay. Edwards. Oh, brings Aitchison in. Oh, Aitchison's in. Oh! Important tackle there by Scott Gale. This lad can certainly run. Cowan. Trips. Thrown down by Durham and Walker. McGinty. Phil Clark. Oh, good tackle there by Paul Eastwood. Edwards. Edwards switching play. Finds Cowell, Cowell stood still. Eastwood gets all the way, but he gets the ball. It's this winger here, it's again, and let him get away. Oh, important tackle there by Enja. Every time he gets the ball, he's playing Aitchison still, but over at the next station. Aitchison again. Last tackle. Edwards, up and under. Richard Gay. Oh, oh. Goes into touch, bounced off Richard Gray's chest, and away from both Duncan and Robinson down this uh, right hand touch line. A few hard stopping moments for the whole supporters. Richard Gray normally so good in the high ball, but uh, very well judged kick by Sean Edwards. Wigan again, possession, first out of six, Edwards. Power. Takes on the defence himself, well tackled by Richard Gay. Wigan getting through the pile of balls very, very quickly. To Hansen, but Hansen is going to show tackle a tackle. And they really are missing too many first timers. Cassidy, taken by Busby, and Jack. Wigan 10 metres away, Clark, Edwards. To the road to Mather. And it was taken down 10 metres away. Wigan come to the right. Edwards. Power. Edwards again. Wigan keeping it alive. McGinty. Looking to turn. Edwards there. Slipping into the court. As he always says, up his forwards. Last tackle against Wigan. Edwards to the kick that he manufactured. Now he goes for the short ball to Power. Power's held up. Now he's over. Good Wigan try. Uh, the man who's conducting the orchestra, Sean Edwards, now really very, very good play by Edwards. Taking the ball on the last tackle, weighed up the options, thought about the kick, fell into the space, and he had the stone to get there for the line, Brian. He was a short ball, as you said to Cowley, who was just too strong for Richard Gale's tackle. I think maybe the old defence was Frank was going to go out left again to the man H's on the left wing, Steve. We had the uh, outside option well covered, but it was a short ball to Cowie. 
Lee Jackson being spoken to, I'm not quite sure why the touch shirt has come on, reported something to uh, Robin Whitfield. Within 10, hold four. Said Sean Edwards said having a good game for uh, Wigan in the middle of his field, orchestrating things well, switching play, bearing his passes, putting little kicks in, putting unders, little chip kicks. Very good game indeed. Takes Patrick Catan to make it 12 points. He should do, and he does do. And I think you commented already twice that Paul's first time tackling isn't always it should be. We're going to break in Hull's line too easily. Hull are looking quite good with the ball. Rob Wilson on. Hull make a fair substitution. Rob Wilson's come on. Young local lad come on for Steve Durham. Hull is to kick off. Hull now 12 12 4. Clark collects the kick off. Looks into Mother. Second one sharp and Walker. Robinson can up and half back. Very quick as this strike is one that's a good ten meter. He's taken a knock as well. Good tackling by Anjak moving it across. So Gildart, here's Clark. So far in the game, we're going to have to control the penalty. Mount in the possession and kind of lost the game under great pressure. Edwards puts it back to Hansen for the kick. That's where Richard Gay. Gay blocks and suddenly he's has been here. Runs it back. Gets the 20 meter line. Good well. Jonathan will run off the mark in half back. It's a ball of 89 meters. Sharp. Missed the uh, Boxing Day match against Sheffield. John Sharp. Back into the side today despite the problems with the virus. Chico Jackson. Ball almost back up to halfway. This has been good work by the forwards. Back to Gale. Gale kicks onto Aitchison's wing. Turns the young winger. He picks it up some seven meters from his line. Chase well this time on Walker. And then Jack Collide on Hook. Clark is taken. Now Cowie has had a very fine game so far. This time met by Jackson and Wilson. Clark. Inside to Gildart. Good tackling. Lee Jackson reading the plays at the rock very well. Cassidy. That's the only Jackson this time now. That's a way, clean away, he's got Panica with him. Oh, well read by Rod Rowland. Very, very timely interception. Great play by the Wigan substitute, Rod Rowland. He'll never make a better interception in his life. He's been there, he's doing the try, but a bad pass. He's keeping the ball on. John Sharp, he's moving back up towards halfway. Jackson from that from half back. Anjak first receiver, Gale second. Gay, uh, Grant rather. Taken by Potica. Last tackle against Holt. And Gale again going onto Aitchison's wing. It's the whole chase like this time. Anjak is there, Aitchison gets through that tackle. Edwards out to Robinson. Duncan on the outside. Taken by Nolan. A lot of this there. A penalty against Hall. The pushing at the play of the ball. It's touch on the halfway. Wilson coming into the 
Jackson finding a bit of space again. Last tackle against Hull. Back to Gale for the kick again. Hansen traps it with his foot and almost plays it through to James Grant following up. Aitchison for lacking half, this time well taken by Ivan Hunjak. Barra with Australian centre piece, the first tackle. Has the ball to himself. Really, really, with a mountain of possession and position in this half. That's a loop. Thirty-six meters out. Edwards, McGinty, inside to Cowley. Cowley looks for support. Finds Cassidy. Edwards again drops up. And after almost a quarter of a minute, and it's the last tackle against Wigan. Edward plays the short side. Michael Robertson kicks through. Did that come off a whole player? No, it didn't. That's uh, Chris Haddon Ball. That's the uh, really uh, pull on the back foot. This is a half ground. Stood that pressure. It's important to result considering the trial before half time. Six minutes to go to half time by the electronic clock. I'll show you if you want my international position, you've got to fight for it. John Sharp. Both half gets to him as well. Bill Jackson running off. Will Jackson being as good pressure as anybody for Hull. He loses the ball in the tackle. Scrum down. Wigan head and ball. Touch inside the Wigan line. Very important to hold them together. Get seven six and get back into it. Sharp. This is the runner heading it up. Walker the big one. Wilson. Jackson from acting half. Running well, Lee Jackson, Dean Busby, hitting and spinning, John Sharp cuts the ball, kind of the way though. And Jack, first receiver, Archie Chico Jackson. 
Turns, looks to offload, but thinks about it again. Sharp. Lee Jackson. Uh, the really was the, the deep throw. Didn't expect that pass. And he goes to ground. Well, really only having scraps of possession, Brian. And errors coming quite quickly when they've got it. Yeah, we're not going to push it there, we've just got to stand down hold. Because I'm sure the brakes will come. Botica. So not Botica. Panapa tackled. Botica out to now for Edwards. Barra. Hampson straightening up. He's got eight just outside him, but floats into the whole Hampson trips. <coughs> tackled by Eastwood. Phil Clark having a great game for Wigan, tremendous game. Oh, Cassidy! <laughs> Cowie. I think there'll be a penalty there against Cowie for pushing Lee Jackson down. Takes him back 10 yards for arguing. And six. Oh, we're really going to mix some of the other six. Two minutes to half time by the clock. James Grant straightens up. Well tackled by McGinty and Gildart. Oh, there's no action half back there. Fundamental play. Lee Jackson, a passive for Lee Jackson. I'm surprised he didn't get 10 minutes. What they thinking about it? Reaching for his pockets. I thought he was going to go for the yellow card last thing. Get on the back of the dark again. I think it's, uh, as he stepped up there, he was going to play in the back of the dark. Begin again with the position and the possession. Clark. Here comes Gilbert up the middle. Hold his hands opening up around the rocks. He played six metres out. Back to Botica. Goes for the drop goal and gets it. He's moving an extra point, 13 points to four. And really, it's good thinking by Wigan because the Peter goes for half time. And Wigan come up with a point in our final attack is first half. The lead at half time of 13 points to four. It's been a uh, half of the uh, point concerning far too many penalties by Hall, and then in possession, it's showing the ability to break the lead in possession, really not secure enough with the possession of their hand. That's good this season, again here in the league, in 14 13. The reason we did it, we could control the ball so well, hardly gave the penalty away, hardly made a mistake. It's great being that today. All of them have the ability, as you said, to crack the Wigan defence, but they haven't really kept the pressure up for any period of time at all. And as we said, it's been Wigan with the ball and showing plenty of ideas, and Wigan being under pressure for most of the game. So it's really important half time, all with a lot to do in the second half with the back row shot.
for both sides back out for the second half. John Mooney must be uh, very pleased with the, the work of some of his reserves that he's brought in, particularly perhaps uh, Aitchison and Mother, who are clearly not outstanding first half. Well, we have a sort of pressure to get Simpson a hook in the end of the half, that year. Uh, with great aplomb, and it's caused Hull lots of trouble with his darting 10 15 yard runs. Full flat fills it. Mather, that's a um, good tackle underneath from Busby. Another good tackle from Busby from the marker position. And another one from Busby on Phil Tower, but Phil Tower gets away. Henja. Edwards. Killed that. McGinn to, to Robinson. Robinson going down to Robinson. Oh, runs into gear. Tackled. And Chico Jackson as well. We're two more tackles in this sequence, Cowie. Oh, good tackle there. Great tackle there by Rob Wilson. Brilliant tackle. Last tackle, this one. Edwards kicks under oh, pressure. Geez, the game is going to cross Richard Gay. Oh, well, not fielded not by Gay. Lucky uh, bounce. Ball's not, you know. Eastwood. Rush walk up, hold pin down. Busby. Uh, sorry, Lee Jackson. Boom, it's close. Oh, good play oh, by Jackson. Oh, Important 20 yards there by Lee Jackson. Duncan. Last tackle. Oh, managed to clear the immediate danger. Back to Scott Hill. Kicks towards Aitch oh, on this wing. Oh, drops it, goes back, does it? Goes to Hanson. James Grant with him, James Grant makes the tackle. Aitchison runs off. This lad's caused a lot of trouble. Very long legs. He's about six foot two, six foot three. Really good tackle by Rob Wilson. Yeah, lucky to get away with that one, I think. Cassidy beats Jackson down the middle. Wraps up Jackson, gets back with Hen Jack. Sean Edwards going right. McGinty. The miss. Phil Clark had overrunning that turn. Edwards, another high kick. All on, cross all on side. Eastwood's ball. Oh, it bounces off Paul Eastwood. Back to Richard Gay. He's in terrible well position. Done, goal line. Well done, Richard Gay. Beats Mathers' tackle. Makes a valuable five yards in field. Grant. Makes another three, four yards for Hull. John Sharp. Good run from Sharp. Chico Jackson. Been quite impressed with the way Chico Jackson's running this game. Rob Wilson well, loses it. Oh, bad player uh, hole. Look at Norman and Nugget to the right. That's a good one. Still back there, Phil Clark. Didn't release it. Straightened up. Wigan still going right. Cowie slips the ball to Cassidy, who's wrapped up by Russ Walker. Phil Clark. McGinty. Oh, good tackling there by Holt. Number two, back on the wrong line. Edwards. Long ball to Hanson, Kinnick puts inside. Edwards. Going to Gaff, sidesteps. Oh, great tackle there by John Sharp and Richard Gay. Wigan moving it right. Hanson picks it, looks too strong. It is. Let off there for Hull. The second half started as much as the first went on. It's all under pressure. Wigan's uh, very varied and bent to attack. Nolan runs it up. 
Ivan Jack. See Paul Jackson on the loop around Ivan and Jack. Rob Wilson. So can tackle very well, Rob Wilson. John Sharp, doing well. Good run by Sharp, gets hold into Wigan territory. And Gail kicks through. Gail approaches the hill, certainly deliberate point on the And this time he's tackled well. Good of all checks. Very massive play of the ball. Robertson emerges for it. Edwards has to kick it through, it's taken by John Sharp. John Sharp finds some room up the middle. Well, but with five tackles inside Wigan territory. Busby drops off Richard Gay. Richard Gay makes a break. Good run by Gay, the tackle trip by Anthony Gay is still going. And Jack Gale, he's back inside Gale to walk and walk up the line. Tackle five meters short. Gale, that's a grunt. Gale takes a little fence, still going, James Grant, James Grant. Ends it up, Busby, for the corner, taking it to touch. That's a good attack by Hall. And again, by no evidence that they can put on, they can keep holding the ball, they can put pressure on the stretch of the left. Unfortunately, Grant's pass there didn't go to hand because Puffy had a little bit of a chance on this right hand side. Oh, it's a minute missing that first tackle again. That's how it is, Hampshire. Cassidy to Clark. Clark's had an excellent game for Wigan. Really looks international. Cassidy again from Action after. Oh, no, Mark is right, quick enough getting up then. Coward. Last tackle. Edwards, kick in. Should be all these must go, which is. Running across field. Battered by Lee Jackson. Lee Jackson, good run! He's got James Grant on his right! Thank oh, God! Oh, oh, oh. Bad ball there. A good ball from James Grant. And I know he's playing in front of him. Mabbe. In a round of left. Ball tackle there by it. Ball came in for it. Hey, Lee Jackson was hurt in that play. Andrew Farrer, tackled by Busby, and Rob Lowell. <coughs> McGinty, finding space down the right. McGinty, oh, look at the ball to Panapa. Well wrapped up by the whole cover. Clark, Robinson, Robinson. Tackled there by Busby and Chico Jackson. Edward switching. Oh, short ball there, Phil Clark's got it. Phil Clark switches now. Phil Clark, short ball there to Jason Livingston. Out from Cassidy. Last tackle. Five yards on the whole line. Edwards, picking have got men out right. Oh, good tackle. There by James Grant. We're going to have a 4 to 2 overlap down this side. But Hull in possession. Good run there by Lee Jackson. Exciting game this day. And to end stuff now. Here comes Walker, clears the 20 metre line. John Sharp. Oh, 
Rob Wilson. All oh, working their way back up to halfway. Two tackles to go. Busby. That's the line in turns. Last tackle against Hull. Back to Gale for the kick. Taken by Hansen. He's met by Eastwood and uh, Rob Wilson. That's a good solid hit by the power of them. This is Aitchison. Very good versus power player from Piper. Edwards inside to Gildart. Other way to Piper again, supporting in the middle. We can make the halfway line. Sean Edwards out to Clark. It's the man most likely to ditch the whole defence at the moment, Phil Clark. McGinty. McGinty put one by McGinty. Lee Jackson is down again. There's Botica. Goes for the bomb. Well taken, Richard Gay. Lee Jackson still on his uh, punches inside the Wigan half. Duncan runs away from acting half back. Sharp inside the Chico Jackson almost breaks the tackle. Busby. Rhodes. Taken by Rob Nolan. Rob Nolan can block it the middle. High tackle against Edwards. Andrew Farrell, the number 15 substitute. Second point for the game makes the halfway line. Chico Jackson. Walker. Sharp. Richard Gay. Morgan's sliding defence coming across to nullify the move. Sharp. John Sharp running very well, making it up the yard, certainly. Gale. Henja. Short ball to Rob Wilson. Back to Henja. Now to Rob Nolan. Nolan takes another defence, takes another fairly high tackle. I don't think that was a much less high than the last one. Bill goes for the air. Hanson coming to play and it takes it to Lincoln. A plenty of protection as well, Brian. Good work. It was quite a good fight here. He went to cross his body, but he was equal to it. Farrell. Robinson. Edwards straightens up, goes. Cowie. Oh, Cowie should have been stopped then. He took the ball standing still. He's still going. Well, make 30 yards there, Steve. 30 yards is something there. Penalty. Uh, sorry, knocked on. And Hull are losing the opportunity to bring it off. Chico Jackson. And they're putting on Nick Rustin for his first team game for Hull. His ex Barrett Ireland Junior, who was on the last parlour under 19 tour to New Zealand. Going to the proper position for Chico. I think Chico Jackson had a very good game, Steve, for Hull, setting the ball up well. Busby, Busby, oh, met there by McGinty. There's Rushton. Good strong run by Rushton. But equally met by some strong women tackling. Walker. 
Nolan. Okay, okay. Grant, Nolan. Rob Nolan. John Sharp taking up. Drops off Scott Gale. Lee Jackson. James Grant. That's it. Go to Eastwood. To Walker. Russ Walker straightens up the middle. Gives it to Richard Gay. Back out to Nolan. Nolan Dotman out. Lee Jackson. Lee Jackson. Take it, carry it towards Duncan. Duncan gets it, but he's immediately met by the Wigan defence. Enja. Gay. Kicks. Oh, well picked up there by Bottica. Gale gets his man. <coughs> Hampson, oh, good. Big hit there by uh, Wilson. Second tackle by Wilson, a real big hit. Oh, good run there, easy. Three easy yards next to the rook there. Farrell. Hey, big lad. I think he usually plays in the centre, but he's coming on in the forwards. Killed that. Uh, Wigan and Medlock, 50 yards in that set. Back to Edwards for the kick. He kicks again. Yes, yeah, so that's a play uh, in the field. It's Eastwood. Eastwood wraps up. Richard Gay. Tackle by eight, isn't it? Rushton. John Sharp. Superb game for old John Sharp. Walker. In fact, I think Steve was what we've been playing 16 minutes. I think if Hulk had got to try and the uh, try on the board, no, they could win the game. That's a quite a much steadier game in the second half. Quite a lot of pressure in and around the Wigan quarter line. There's another good kick coming out from Scott Gale. And although we're going to return the ball pretty well. <laughs> With a pretty even contest the second half. As Brian says, a try to hold now would really lift their heads and give them a fighting chance. Andrew Farrow receiving attention from Wigan. Hutchison off his wing. Taken by Grant and Gale. Farrow. Standing up low, Gale yeah, into the floor. Edwards out to Botica, short ball to Panapa, looking to release Robinson, but well taken. Wigan again. The room. Last tackle against Wigan, uh, 36 metres away from the whole line. Edwards kicks through on the ground this time. Taken by Gay. And Edwards chases his own kick and makes the tackle well. Good play by the winning captain. Duncan from acting halfback. Scrambles 10 yards thereabouts. Sharp. Good quick play the ball by John Sharp. Walker. Good tackle. Something across the park. Busby. Last tackle. Gay kicks into Hutchison's way again. Turns in. Got to go back for it. Takes it some 10 metres from his own line and he's tackled by Sharp and Grant. Hutchison from that from half back runs up very well. Gets through the tackle. It's a great one by this winner. Good tackle by Richard Gay, it had to be. And a penalty against Gay. As he holds the winger down. I'm not sure if Paul Edgerton has uh, had a first team appearance for Wigan so far this season. He's signed from, from Witness in the, day, the deal that took David Miles the other way. Um, 
So priceless assets, he's quick and he can beat a man, Steve, and he's a big lad as well. I think he's only a teenager and he's 19 years old. Oh, big strong run there, but Gales up to it. Oh, Phil Clark, oh, good, good tackle there. Yeah, Lee Jackson. Great tackle by Jackson. Buttercup. Oh, sorry, Buttercup this time, it was panicking before. Buttercup and Edgar! And Edgar will score! Yes, he does, he gets it down right in the corner. Well, he, tried to well, he doesn't, he doesn't get it down. Trash Shields overruns the referee's decision to attack for Hull. Great cover there for Hull. I said he would score, he seemed well on the score, Steve. He had uh, the young winger outside him and he decides to go himself, but he still needed plenty. Great cover tackling by Hull. Hull certainly hadn't given this game away. John Sharp again. That was a superb game for Hull. Penger. Oh, not cut out. James Grant. Penalty to Hull. Not quite sure why. Looks acceptable, nonetheless. Steve, I didn't see who the Hull defenders all got across to um, get to Botica then. People stood up near us, did you? No, I didn't, but they deserve a medal. Great scrambling defence. So, hold with a clear set of six. Starting 38 metres from the Wigan line. Mark Duncan brings the first one in. <coughs> and how Hull could do the score. Rob Wilson runs up well close to the rock. John Sharp was the decoy runner. Now Walker. Henger. Short ball for Busby running the angle. Good run by Rushton. Coming strongly. Within seven metres. Walker. Hendrick. Well wrapped up. Taken by Wilson, but he loses possession. He's going to be first match ball. And it is. Wilson kicks through the top of the ball. The penalty is given against him. Full flat. Takes the tap and moves straight towards half point. There's no stopping the action, boy. Yeah, it's a horrendous game. Wigan made the that whole move then, and unfortunately for Hull, Hen Henjack was, tack uh, was tackled, tries to get a quick ball out, but Wilson never had it under control. But Hull are back on the attack. Busby, James Grant. Wigan kept a very close eye on Grant this afternoon. Busby. Rushton, certainly running strong in Mickey Rushton. Walker charges down the middle. John Sharp. Henger. Bill Jackson. Wilson. Wilson. Ball out. Nolan straightens up. Good pitch of this by Hull. Scott Gill. Kicks. Oh, nice one into the end goal. Next year, it's just he feels it well. That's a guy who's from Ninja. So good pressure by Hull, but they just can't get over that line. Wigan defence very, very strong. Great effort the second half by Hull. Robinson's an acting half back. 16 minutes to go. Edwards. Put down. And Lee Jackson. Farrell trying to run away from the acting halfback, but he's knocked down. Left tackle against Wigan. They haven't made so many yards this time. Edwards out to Botica to kick. And the ball bobbles away from Matt Duncan and into touch. Bit of a fortune of the bounce there for Wigan there. Well, it shows how many kickers we can have actually, Steve. That was Patrick Botica. already put it, obviously Edwards is the usual kicker. He was under pressure. Patrick Botica who put in a good kick. For Chilter's pound, certainly, but a good kick nonetheless. Yeah. 
good pressure by Hull. They just need a little bit of luck. They need a try. And I, I, as I said, this game's not beyond them. Henja. Gale. Richard Gale. Tackle well by Hampson. <laughs> Paul Eastwood. Oh, well, Paul Eastwood goes. Good 20 yards there by Eastwood down the middle. Jackson Sharp. Inside ball to Busby. Busby. Inside again. Nolan straight up down the middle. Good play by Hull. Good interpassing. Switch the direction. Hull going right. Gale. Gus Walker. Runs at Andrew Farrell. Puts him down. I think I'd like to see Scott Gale take him on a little bit more than he's doing at the moment. Gale. Jackson. Jackson. Oh, Jackson. Oh, gets the ball on Rob Wilson. To Nolan. Oh, good play this by Hull. Last tackle. It's Hendrick. It's Hendrick. We'll have to go the line. He does. Ooh. It's a tap on the 20. Hard look there for Hull. Well, I just need to watch one more tackle there. On the last tackle, Ivan Hendrick just... Well, he had no, no option but to take them on himself. His kick just too strong. And it's very important that Hull hold Wigan as they did in the last set of six. His mother. Robinson from acting up. That's a great tackle by Dean Busby. Edwards. Taken by Grant. Ten metres still inside his own territory. Cowley loses the ball. Oh, have it. Busby. Rob Wilson. Wilson's had a strong second half. Nicky Rushton. Running up the middle, doing good work. It's a sort of substitute plus. Jackson from acting half. Almost through that pace, almost took him through the gap. Turn, turn the knock again, I think. Sharp. Following the shots, Richard Gay. That's a rush in. Within five metres. Hendrak. Takes him on, and The ball knocked down. The knock is free pick to a penalty for offside against Wigan. Wigan on the grip. Walker coming off the hole, Durham returning. Pull with this penalty just seven metres away, but we've got to get a try. 12 minutes to go. Nine points to difference. We're going to bring... Uh, we are going to bring Walker off. The fine game was Walker, tremendous effort. On comes Steve Durham for the last 12 minutes. Rushton. Well, that came off the wooden hand. If you didn't see it, it's a little offside, really. Nonetheless, it's a chance to hold it from now. It's not Nicky Rushton, she never lost the ball. Well, we made that last substitution. Walker coming off. We had a very strong game, was Walker. But Rush and the need, uh, but Durham on the need a, 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 a new pair of legs, fresh pair of legs for Durham. Oh, Durham missed them badly. Edwards moving it wide. Inside to Farrah. Farrah looking for a gap. Oh, great tackle by Busby. Finished off by Durham. Woods moving it right. Phil Clark. Oh, Bix loses his tackle. Great strength. Oh, wonderful covering tackle there. From Ivan Henjak. Save those line. Inside. Oh, the Dunty. Knocks on. It's Dunky. Fast and furious now. Wilson. He had a pretty good game as well. Wilson says he's going to look strong, but playing with plenty of confidence. Durham.
Gunshaft. Lee Jackson. To Gale. Sasset. Gale. Goals. Gale. They've got it. Jack William. And Jack for the flag. Duncan. 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 Still going. Stop his crowd. The action. Jackson for the post. Oh, it's that last tackle. Oh, and that's twice. Really good. Great attacks by Hull, but they've played it from close to the Wigan line on the last tackle. And again, Wigan come up with possession. It's been a great effort by Hull in the second half. And here comes Aitchison again. Real fucking last stop in the second half. The amazing thing is we haven't had a try. Yeah, more pitch than in the first half. But the last ditch tackling on both sides have been tremendous. Now, and Jack didn't just call the pace to go himself in, and nobody's really near enough to pass. And I said earlier on, I thought Scott Gale should have done a more money, did he? Side steps and he was through. Anyway, Fotica turns gay. They have to play it, it won't go dead. It's a gear running out. Oh, still running. Stop that down there. James Grant at Acton Alpha. Gives it to Busby. Uh, Rushton, sorry, Rushton. John Sharp had a towering game, John Sharp today. It was all his vast experience. Lee Jackson running off. He's had a wonderful game as well, Lee Jackson. Great international game. Eastwood. Benja. Rustin. Last tackle. To Gale. It's just an again. He's going to have a lot of work to do. Ooh. Ducked under Durham's tackle then, but pulled on by John Sharp. A oh, good tackle there on full flag. Power. Tackle. Good tackle this by Hull. Pony, uh, Botica. Clark again. Oh, good tackling again. Uh, Busby underneath and Wilson at top there, Edwards. Potica running, stepping, still going. Potica. Last tackle. Wigan going open. Edwards kicks. To Donkin. Oh, well taken that Donkin. Had a good game as this young left winger. Hull looking to put Russ, uh, Russ uh, Walker back on. John Sharp, what a grafter, rushed him up the middle, Jackson, oh to Durham, great pass by Lee Jackson, Henja, Henja, still going, oh, oh and he passes it straight to the Wigan man, straight to Cowan, comes the Wigan Tackle there by Scott Gill. So I was looking to make a last minute substitution, or last minute, last six minute substitution here. Hill Clark at an halfback. Running off. Tackle by Lee Jackson. Edwards. Edwards straightens, goes. All right, Ed John Sharp. Oh, good tackle by Sharp and Jackson. I think Edwards will have felt that one. Bottica kicks. Should be Richard Gage. It's in, it's come right back. Yeah. Oh. Right, then we're going to make a substitution. It's full of bringing Wilson off, bringing Walker back on, and Wigan putting Cassidy on for. 
Cassidy from McGinty. Wilson. I think he's done quite well in the 40 minutes or so he's been on. Lee Jackson. John Sharp. Rushton, Henja. Gail. Gail straightens up to Henja. Oh, to Grant. Grant's kicked. Good kick by Grant. Roy Williams is pretty well up for Hansen. Slips Grant. Doesn't slip. Roy does slip. Roy does slip. Roy does play by Slim Hansen. And then Henja needs to put him down. Good play there by Hansen. Very composed. Showed his strength. Great to see. Five minutes left of this game. Still Wigan 13, hold for oh, Phil Clark. Good tackle again downstairs by John Shear. It does. Just a tap to Hull. Hull supporters doesn't hear them really getting behind the team. It's a good performance just by Hull. Mm -hmm. At last, I think the substitutes are going to be made. They are, as we just said. Cassidy on for McGinty. Russ Walker back on for Wilson. Duncan inside. Not Duncan, sorry, James Grant inside. That's what? That's tackle. Rob Nolan running off. Kicks over the top. Farah's ball, tackle by Nolan. Same appearances for Wigan. Edwards kicks. Oh, oh. Oh, Richard Gay feels it well, beats his man. Important ten yards made by Gay. Busby. Busby's hurt. Wigan plays. Cowie and Clark call over. Physio. His ankle stable has gone over on it in that tackle. He's up on his feet. So a couple of minutes left in this game. It really has been some fair entertainment for the crowd. Yeah, it's been a terrific second half and always really you know, given more than they've got in the second half, probably Brian. They'll just be ruining those penalties and errors in the first half. Under pressure in the first half. Oh, kick straight down at Hansen. Hansen doesn't miss those. Hansen beats Grant. And then Jack. Oh, Chicago is swarming. 
Dermot Hampson. Pass of a dummy's goal. Last minute of uh, prime time. Maybe a bit of a time I don't for injuries, it certainly will be. Clark, oh, a little bit of ball there to Edwards. What a superb tackle by Rob Nolan. Gilda. Charges for the line. Another whole man down injured, can't see who it is. Cowie for the right, Cowie will score, Cowie will score, that's the clincher. Cowie pulled out and I think it was Rushton's attempted tackle. And his impetus took him out there. It was just the time for the conversion. Well, and if, and if and we expect Botti to get fit, it'll be 19 4 to Wigan, and it looks easy, but in fact, it's not been easy for most of the game. Got two times for Cowie in this game, Steve. Just a missed tackle, and it's looks like being six points. A bottle for them. It's try to have the two points. And he does. So it's Wigan, 19, full four. The hotel. I think overall it's a game that Polly Wigan deserved to win. I have an argument about that. But well, it's when Hull come again in a fortnight's time for the, for the preliminary round of the Cup. I don't think they're coming out of Hull. Talent, ability today. So, uh, not to break the road by Wigan at all, Steve. So when we do come back in a fortnight's time, we'll hope for a different result. And as I said, I think we've got enough ability to show that we can do it. Yes, uh, Roy Summers must be pretty proud of the effort in the second half. Great effort by this side. But uh, we can even with the so-called reserves and too strong in the day. That really those two tries in the first half. We gave Wigan the lead, but they were never really full in this. And Hull tried tremendously hard in the second half, and great pressure at times. But not enough to get over that line. For the final score here at Central Park in this legal court design final of Wigan 19 LFC 4.